Hello, good morning and welcome to a vlog. Today I am moving all of my stuff back to university. Um, my train back to Durham is at quarter to four, so I'm just packing up the last few bits of my stuff. And yeah, I thought I'd document it, so let's go. Hello, so I have made it back to Durham, finally. Um, feels good to be back, had a pretty stress-free journey, except I had no book, no headphones, and therefore, no will to live, really. Anyway, on a slightly less morbid note, I'm actually here before term starts. Term starts in two weeks for me, but I am here helping out with Freshers Week. I'll explain more of that tomorrow, uh, because that's when it all kind of kicks off. But yeah, basically, I've turned up to my bedroom looking pretty much intact, so I've got no organisation or anything to do, which is bliss. This evening, I think I'm just going to go and meet up with some other friends who are also back in Durham, but first, I thought I'd quickly tell you about this amazing app slash website called Unidays, who have kindly sponsored this week's video. If you're a UK student, Unidays could be saving you loads and loads of money, and it's absolutely free. Their website and app are filled with so many discounts on household names like Topshop Topman, Urban Outfitters, ZZ, ASOS, like the list just goes on and on and on. And it's completely free, and if there's one thing students love, it's free things. All you have to do to start saving today is sign up to Unidays using an academic email address, upload a little photo of yourself, and you're good to go. No more live in la vida broker. It's so good, you save so much money in like restaurants, in shops, in store, online. It's a dream, what more could you ask for? And actually, now that I think of it, you've actually already seen me save money using uni days because um, LNER, which is the train line that gets me from London up to Durham, um, uni days have a 50% discount. 50% discount, right? So my train journey was considerably cheaper thanks to uni days, and I think that means that I should celebrate with a pizza. Um, because I deserve it. So that's what I'm gonna go and do now. Um, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? We've been, I've been in Durham for like five minutes and we're already going to Paddy's Pizza, which by the way, is the best pizza yeah. on the whole planet. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I'll say. <sighs> this is actually the whole reason I came back to Durham University. About last night, I came back to Durham with the full intention of having a chill evening, going out and getting some pizza so I didn't have to cook, um, meeting up with some friends and going to bed and getting a nice early night. Did that happen? No. <laughs> so we accidentally, emphasis on accidentally, um, ended up consuming two bottles of wine and then accidentally, again, emphasis on accidentally, ended up going clubbing. <laughs> we went to a bar called Fabio's which is the only club open in Durham at the moment because no one else is here, none of the other students are here yet, so <laughs> it was just us there. So yeah, woke up this morning feeling slightly worse for wear, but today is a really exciting day because today is the first day of frepping. So I think frepping is one of those like Durham words that we just use here that no one else uses, but frepping basically means like freshers repping, so we're just helping out with freshers week. Um, so I'm in a college called Cuts and we organise, the student body organise, Freshers week. So there's loads and loads of really fun things happening this week. We have um, lots of different parties going on. There's a zoo night, there's a dress as your subject night, there's a space party, um, we've got silent discos, loads of inflatables and bouncy castles and um, total wipeout style games. There are other like more chill options. There's like an icebreakers night, there's an acoustic night, a karaoke night, pub quiz, and it all kicks off with a white t-shirt party on the first night. In the daytime there are also events, so I know for a fact that I'm taking the freshers on a boat ride um, around the river, because Durham is surrounded by a river, it's kind of on a peninsula. And there are also other things like a scavenger hunt, and then there are kind of compulsory things like a consent workshop, um, a big whole college talk, that kind of thing. So we kind of run everything. Basically students can apply, I applied last term and um, got the role of team leader, so I'm going to have a team of I think six, um, who I am going, basically we've got a meeting now, where we're going to meet our teams, sort of talk about the week, and what's expected of us and what we need to do, um, get to know our teams a little bit, and then I think we're painting banners for the day because each of us gets assigned a house to move people into. The big move-in day is on Sunday, which will be the most crazy, hectic day of my life, so I don't think I'm going to film, uh, just because we're moving in. Uh, I think my house has 35 freshers, so all day we just need to be on the ball, moving people in, setting up the white t-shirt party, attending the white t-shirt party, all of that stuff. I think we've got a DJ coming in that night as well, and some like candy floss and hot dog machines. Uh, so each house needs a banner, so I'm sure the next clip will be me painting a banner. Do enjoy that quality content. 
Oh hey vlog, so today has been a crazy old day, um, I thought I'd be able to film a lot more than I did, but it was just kind of full speed ahead, we just had to hit the ground running and get on with it as much as we could. So we met our teams, and um, I have a great team, so I'm very chuffed with that, I'm very happy with everyone who's on my team, and we get on really well, so that's a good start. We have been put in charge of the pub quiz, which is next Wednesday, and um, I'm so happy with that, because basically, um, I don't remember the pub quiz last year, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was so blindingly drunk that all I really remember clearly is just like dancing on the table to Angels by Robbie Williams. So um, if that doesn't happen at my pub quiz, I will be very annoyed. Uh, so yeah, we've basically just been like working out questions and that kind of thing. We went to a workshop all about like being an active bystander and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so um, tonight we're going to a little meal, but for now, um, I'm going to get some work done because so I've got loads of emails to reply to, um, some kind of worky bits um, that I need to write up, and so I'm going to go and sit by the window in a chill little spot and get that done. Soldier on, all you have to say is soldier on. Okay, so tonight we basically have a FREP bonding meal, um, which I originally wrote down in my phone timetable as FREP bondage meal, um, which would be a very different thing, but um, basically I need to get changed out of these clothes because I've been wearing them all day, painting in them, got a little bit of paint on my knee, um, which is not, not okay. So I thought this would be the perfect time to do the first click change in the new house. So three, two, one, there we go, um, I'm wearing this. Okay, that's my bending on. Um, I'm wearing this um, funky little shirt that I bought in Vietnam over the summer, actually. Um, I think it's cool. It's very, like, gap year um, shirt, but anyway, that's what I'm going with tonight. Not that you care. Um, let's go get some food. Hello, Editing Jack here. Um, I realised that the following clips don't actually make any sense at all without context, so allow me to explain. We went to a place called the Library, which is a bar, um, just to save any confusion, and it's actually far superior to the actual university library. Because we're freps and we just love organised fun, each person was set a challenge at our bonding meal. Some people had challenges which just lasted for one night, like eating dinner with no hands, having to start a round of applause in a restaurant, and getting everyone singing along to a song. <laughs> My challenge, however, was to become a real-life daddy. I was given a baby doll and challenged to look after it for the next two weeks. Anytime I don't have it with me, I have to do a forfeit. So we spent our first night together, you know, bonding, getting to know each other, um, and just taking on this new role of care that I have. So, yeah, that's why I have a baby now. Um, I didn't just have a very busy summer. <laughs> Morning, mate. Eating toast on the go. <laughs> I was up all night with the That's baby, too. <laughs> it was a very stressful night. Even as a second year, um, vlogging in public in Durham is definitely still not <laughs> okay. So we've just finished up with a drug and alcohol awareness training course. Um, walk all the way back to um, my college at Cuffs, and um, first thing I see is the president who asked me to take this bloody big banner all the way to the other side of Durham. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just walking all the way across County Durham, it feels like, as you trek. And I'm really chuffed about it, as you can tell. Hey. Look at that beauty. Hey. We have shopping. And a new bag for life, which means I'm a proper adult now. Are you ready for it? I've bought eggs. Excellent. Crisps, copious amounts of custard creams, sherbet lemons, and mint imperials. Oh, that's my jam. Toothpaste, a cheeky bit of lemonade, and the most exciting thing of all, a margarita pizza. Why is this exciting? Because it cost me £1.40, it was reduced. It goes off now, but I, it, it's reduced. And so that's my dinner for tonight, because I'm still refusing to actually cook a proper meal. Heating things up is basically cooking. Like, what is cooking if it isn't heating things up, right? So yes, excited to have a pizza this. I hit myself too. I just finished filming and then realised I forgot to say what I actually came here to say before I started doing like a food haul. Basically, we just had manual handling training, which 
is as dull as it sounds, it's basically just like how to pick things up and move them from A to B. Uh, so basically we were taught how to pick things up, which is like a legal requirement, but like it was just very, very dull. Also moved my first fresher into their room today, um, and uh, she brought all of China with her. Honestly, her suitcase was so big, and I was tasked with carrying that all the way upstairs. Honestly, that was like a full body workout. I am shattered. Um, I feel like I've just, just done like a whole day in the gym. And yeah, so that is kind of what my afternoon has consisted of. Uh, it's all fun and games. Prep social tonight, which I'm looking forward to. It's 90s themed, um, but first I just need to need to chill for a little bit. And that is what I intend to do. So today we were given our FREP t-shirt, so this is mine, um, says team leader, just in case anyone forgets how important I am. That's a joke, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think it's actually got a really cool design this year. The tiger is the cut mascot. Yeah, I really like this. We basically just wear these so that the freshers can identify us, like when they're going home from clubs and stuff. But coolest thing is, it has my name on the back. And so I'm gonna feel like a football player. Um, kind of. How have I already got it dirty? This is why I can't have nice things. Hey guys, so just cooking our really advanced meal. <laughs> <laughs> Two <laughs> pizzas. We will grow up at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, today's not that day. Today yeah. is, and nor is tomorrow. No, We've just no, been invited no. out for dinner, <laughs> result. <laughs> Something that happened today, which was very, very cool, is that I was featured in an interview on MTV. What? So for Freshers Week, I've been working on a really cool campaign with Calm and The Mix to promote mental health at university. And uh, hello, mate. There I am. It's like playing a game of Where's Wally? Me being the Wally. So yeah, this Wally was interviewed by MTV. Look, there's there's my name. Isn't that mental? Um, and and there's my face. Um, crazy. Also, please excuse the absurd number of tabs I have open. I know it's unhealthy, but just like Miley Cyrus, I can't be tamed. Another very, very cool thing is that I'm on the new Uni Days advert. How crazy is this? So this is going out on Instagram stories, on Facebook, um, what? But yeah, who'd have thought little old me would be on an advert? So thank you so much Uni Days for featuring me. Um, this is crazy because it's a brand I've loved for years. And yeah, just very, very surreal to see my face on an advert. <laughs> What's going on? Okay guys, I'm ready for the 90s party. You know, the stupid thing is, is that <laughs> basically, I didn't buy this hat, I just found it. It was in one of the drawers in our um, kitchen. <laughs> Random, but very chuffed with it. Um, so this is my little outfit. And of course, I have the baby. Another day of the weekly vlog. Today is Thursday and I've started off the day by tidying up this room because it was an absolute state. Um, it looks miles, miles better. And it's got the bed. My shelves do still need a bit of a proper sort out. Um, but I can see the carpet, I can see this chair. Today we have a midday call time, so I've got loads of time to actually chill in the room because I was saying to Will yesterday, like, realistically, we sat down yesterday evening after um, the day's activities and I was like, this is the first time I've sat down for more than 15 minutes since Sunday. Um, and so last night we kind of chilled, we went to um, Gabby and Paddy's house for a spag bowl, which they kindly cooked for us. And I kind of decided not to vlog yesterday just because we were tying up lots of loose ends, getting loads of jobs done, and I just wanted to really focus on that. However, today, back in the game, and we've started with a nice little time lapse, so you know it's going to be a good vlog. Now let's go and get some breakfast. <laughs> Okay, so I am back in my FREP stash, and I'm ready to head off for the day. Um, today we are actually testing out our pub quiz on the other FREPs, so we're going to um, do that. We're also doing our FREP photo, um, so my plan at the moment is to do either 
um, a nativity scene with the toy baby or um, circle of life scene with the toy baby. So um, that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna head off, quickly make myself a jam sandwich because they're my favorite in the whole world. And yeah, I'm a man with a plan. Okay, let's go. Oh hi, hey, hello, um, I'm back in my house now, um, I had to do two trips to get here, so I came from Cuts, back here, all the way back to Cuts, and then back again, because um, my parents basically sent me some parcels with all of the things that I had left behind um, at home. Turns out, uh, I left quite a lot. This is what I've just lugged all the way through Durham City Centre, um, but it's here now, and I'm going to unpack it. Uh, it's all my Wilco stuff. Amazing. A little fake plant there. Some cushions. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's my Nintendo Wii. Yes! Yes! In here is all of my Nintendo Wii stuff. I've got nunchucks, I've got controllers, I've got the Wii. Yes! Let's hope there are some games in this one. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not gonna go over the line. Oh no! I don't think I've got any games. Ah, oh, man. I do, however, have a cocktail making set. Maybe I'll just prioritise that. I've also just picked up these two deliveries from Top Man and Urban Outfitters. Um, I'm hiding my dress up there because as much as I would love for you all to come over, um, I'm still learning how to cook and so I'm not sure that's going to go overly well, so unfortunately I can't cater for you and that would just be rude, wouldn't it? And the reason I'm telling you this is actually because I got 20% discount on both Top Man and Urban Outfitters thanks to Uni Days. They were doing a special promotional discount because it was kind of fresh this week coming up, um, so absolute result, got a few bargains there. Basically I just bought all the essentials that I needed for the next term, but with 20% off, so I am a happy bunny right now. Unfortunately I made a bit of a <laughs> stupid purchase. I thought you can kind of see this jacket, it's like a fur jacket. I thought it would look really cool. Um, I was mistaken. It kind of makes me look like I'm from a Macklemore music video and that's not really my vibe this year. So that's going to be going back. But the rest of the stuff is lovely. Yes, I have changed clothes now. Uh, it's cold in the northeast. Um, and also, yes, I am wearing these stupid trousers. I like them. Anyway, I'm starting to put up my stuff in the living room basically just to make it a little bit more homely. Um, Excuse Will's pants in the background. Tonight, um, Will and I are hosting a social. It's called the Will and Jack Social of Dreams. So we're doing a Jack's team versus Will's team social, um, where my team are wearing red, Will's team are wearing blue, and we're gonna go head to head with some challenges. The plan was to play the Nintendo Wii. I might need to try and source some games for it. <laughs> um, but also we've got some drinking games and that kind of thing, but I wanna make our living room look lovely. Oh, hello. <laughs> look, look at this. I can't believe we're cooking. Just me, domestic god, <laughs> cooking out the store. Um, we went for chicken, which was a bold choice because obviously that's one way of getting salmonella. We did read a very comprehensive part of the cookbook yesterday that was about how not to poison your flatmates, so that's kind of the plan yeah. at the moment. Um, it looks quite good, I think. For real. Uh, yeah, I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. Okay. Ta da! Doesn't look like it will kill you, which <laughs> is a success for me. What's the verdict? It's all right. Edible? Okay, I'll take all right. I'll take yeah. all right. That's fine by me. And that is actually everything that I filmed for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate that you've stuck by me. Thank you so much for being patient. I know I haven't uploaded in a little while, but I've just been getting settled back at university. Um, and it has been really, really intense. Um, and I've been trying to get involved in as much as possible this year. I went to Glasgow for the weekend for Hangout Live and met loads of viewers, which was amazing. I've met loads of viewers in Durham, so thank you so much to everyone who said hello. You make my day every day. So I've been very busy. I've spread myself like butter. Um, and I'm also trying to balance a degree with all of that. So sorry for the lack of videos, but I've been getting settled, trying to 
um, get way more involved in second year and hopefully I've succeeded so far. So yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video, thanks for sticking by me, thank you to Uni Days for sponsoring this video, I still can't get my head around that, it's so cool to work with brands that I absolutely love. Obviously I will leave all of the information about Uni Days down below, um, but if you're a university student, a sixth form student or even a school student, as long as you have an academic email address, you can sign up and start saving today, so get involved, get going, it's free, why not? I can assure you that videos and upload schedules will be back to normal now, um, but thank you very much for watching this video. I've been Jack Edwards, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.